It's my feel-good breakfast show. Oh yes, you're still with your feel-good breakfast show, Expresso, here on SABC3. We're catching up with the incomparable uh, Moon Charles Sinelli, whose career has really brought so much excitement to the world of local music, taking it from South Africa to the world, fusing that gum with that ama piano and being able to bring the two genres to life together at the same time in the most beautiful way. Mixed breeder. A mixed breeder, that's what I call it. Giving us, because you need a passport. Remember she said we need a passport. And a visa. And a visa and everything. But let's talk about the good news. The good news is that this month we received that news that the South African Music Awards announced that Gom and Amabiana will finally receive their own categories for the 2021 Yay! edition of the award show. That is amazing. Come on, that come on. That is awesome. What do you, you know, think, what do you think of this development because, for the industry? Mm -hmm, sorry. I think it's a good thing that the summers have separated the two genres because if I think of um, a category when they say dance music and there's just deep house, I obviously don't qualify, but I make dance music. And because we're so special in SA, we have so many branches of one tree. So the dance genre has got so many, and I'm glad that the ones that specialize in Amapiano who didn't exist in Gom, they can come through. The ones that specialize in Gom who are struggling with the adjustment, they can come through. So I feel like it's very, it's very, it's, it's freaking awesome. I love it. Well, let's talk about your Everyone latest... gets a spotlight. And it really is about that. I think it's so mm -hmm. much for everyone to share from, right? Uh, but something we've all been sharing so much love for is your latest project, the Nudes EP, which has received so much success, such positive response and reaction from everyone. It's so crazy. I mean, Moonchild, what are some of the messages conveyed there in that song that just make us all want so much of it? We want to eat it up. I write you, there's like, there's this one song called, next time you need to come correct or don't come at all. Because I'm always empowering. And then we've obviously got Thunder Thighs, Body Positivity. And then we've got, I love girls, I never learn boys now and then, because I <laughs> love people. And then I've got, um, <laughs> Where My Me, which is, oh my God. I was actually very surprised by the response, because I got Vogue Japan, Vogue this. I got uh, BBC Class of 21 um, people to look out for, because we, we blew up apparently 2020. But this is like the international scale. So it's like, oh my goodness. The EP's reception was surprising because it was majority international. And in South Africa, it was mostly like the alternative um, people that search for the other genres, which is what I do in the world, because the world doesn't limit me like South Africa. South Africa is a strategy. It was literally surprising because I bump into things all the time. And I think a part of the surprise is the fact that I forgot that I've got, a, I've, I've literally got a team all over the world now. I no longer have to do things alone now. So I think that's the first, that's the surprise because I just saw the magnitude to a point where if you look at the Spotify numbers, I've got like 15.2 million followers Whoa. and the top wow. South African artist got 2.2. .2. Wow. So you don't know where those numbers come from. They come from my international audience. Girl, wow. it's the levels for us. It's the fact that you just keep pushing, yeah. keep creating more stuff. Because we also know that you've uh, released a clothing label called Moonchild Cultwear, which I've seen on some of your famous friends all over social media. What does fashion mean to you and why was it so important for you to also express your creativity in this way? Well, I studied fashion and I grew up as a creative kid. So my mom was like, okay, cool, you can go to fashion if you want, because I grew up dancing, singing and everything. Mm. And then it's also, it's, it's really, it's like a form of expression because I'm an expressor. I can express through words, I can express through clothes, I can express through fabric and design. So it's all a part of just like the elements of my being a creative antenna. So it's really, really, really played a huge part of my, in my career and my brand with regards to it having its individuality because mm. without making money, I didn't have to worry about breaking relationships by asking for things. I would take a curtain and make a look and I'd be popping. <laughs> and so I did, I do my own hair. My hands have literally carved this and now I finally have a team to sell this. Mm. And it's just crazy because I'm fortunate to have all forms of expression. I mean, crazy, yesterday I just sent um, Nina one of the bedroom pieces. Actually, girl, I should send you one of the bedroom pieces. I'm just making them for fun. I am ready. Because they're nice and sassy. Oh, I'm wow, <laughs> Oh, baby girl, Moon Child we love we you. We love we you. We absolutely love you. And I think the one thing that stands out about you is that you've been so authentic and you have been so true to yourself and who you are. And you express that so beautifully. And that's why the world loves you. There's no doubting why or asking why they love you. Yeah. So please do continue uh, to do what you're doing. Fly the South African and indeed maybe the African flag all the way up high. All right. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me, 
you guys. I love you too. Moonchild Sonelli, we love hanging with you, but of course we can incorporate all your amazing music in our Friday dance because we are ready. We are doing Maki. And maybe Thunder Thighs too. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not, but maybe. <laughs>